Hello everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing the HK Gaming Mirror M. It's a lightweight gaming mouse. I've heard that it's a shape similar to the G Pro Wireless and G Pro Super Lite, but obviously it's wired. Right now on on Amazon, the black one's on sale for forty dollars, so it's cheaper than all their other lightweight mouse, other lightweight mice like the Model O and Model Z. It's also lighter at sixty three grams. Okay, and I got the black version. Only the black version's on sale right now. Well, at the time of filming. So, in the box, there's a dust cover. Oh, yeah, I think this is the advertised dust cover. Um, it's a little smaller than I thought it would be. Quick, wait, so underneath this, there is a little manual and the grips and there's an there's extra mouse feet and there's a mouse feet to like make the glide bigger like on the glorious model b all right anyways i'll just say the specs it has omron 50 mil switches a thousand hertz polling rate ptfe feet uh very popular very common pixar 3360 sensor um uh Max, uh, what's it called? D CPI is 12,000. All right, the, the dimensions, height is 124 millimeters, width is 64 millimeters, and depth is 39.5 millimeters. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and it's 63 grams, if I haven't mentioned already. Okay, where'd I put the mouse? Okay, it's right here. So the first thing is obviously the honeycomb. Like, I've Never had a lightweight mouse before. Also, the cord is really different than the M711. This is advertised as something like a paracord, but this is just a braided cable, which is really bad. So I'm glad to see how this will turn out. Yeah, it seems really flexible. Let me just do a quick flexible flexibility test. All right. All right, let me do that on the M711 GoPro. Yeah, it's not flexible at all. So this, I don't think it's a paracord, but it's a something like a paracord. It comes, I've never seen something like this before. It's kind of like a rubber, something rubber, and you just take it out. It's pretty nice. Oh, let's, how do I make? I guess you have to slide it out through the... How do you take this out? I guess you have to keep it on. This stays on. Has the USB looks like this. Standard gold-plated US, standard gold plated USB. Um, yeah, okay. Let's just stretch this cable up out. Put this dust cover back. I think I will use the extra feet to make it glide better. It comes with these. I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll use the grips though because that adds to the weight. I'll apply the extra feet now. It's right here. Oh no, please don't stick. Okay. Good. Alright, that's better. The feet are quite smooth. Oh, the scroll wheel feels really nice. It's really smooth. All right, let me do a quick sound test right now. All right. This mouse feels really comfy for, I do a palm grip. It's like a hybrid palm grip. So it, that's pretty much a palm grip. Yeah, actually on this mouse, it's really comfortable. Just like, there's a lot of support in the arch. It's just 
let's compare this to my M711 Cobra. It's just, I can't get a com good compare, alright, this is good. It's just, they both go high, but this one, the Mira M stays higher for longer, but the M711 just uh, dips right off. Okay. It's, it would be pretty comfortable. I'm not sure about fingertip and claw. I don't really know how to go into fingertip and claw, but it should be fine. So, to download the software, you just go to, search up, HK Gaming Mira M software. You go click on this first link, and you scroll down this one. Mira S, Mira M, and click download. I've already downloaded it. I've downloaded it right here. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, so you can obviously reprogram the buttons, macro, you can assign macros. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I don't know. You can select DPIs, but um, I only keep 800 DPI as the active setting, and you can change the color for each one, so purple, blue, but blue is my main color. So I've kept mine at 800 DPI. Lighting, uh, neon, you can have steady or just off. There's not too many options, and there's barely any RGB on the mouse, but I don't think anyone really cares about RGB on their mouse. Okay, mouse parameters. There's scrolling speed, mouse sensitivity, double click speed. So I'm interesting to I'm interested to see how this will do in Minecraft. I'll just keep it in the mail right now. Lift off distance, obviously keep that as low. Debounce time, if you're playing Minecraft, keep it low. If you're not, keep it around eight or ten. That's my opinion. But I'll just keep it four for right now. And yeah, that's the software. The build on this copy of the mouse is just okay. The buttons have a bit of side to side play, they wiggle a lot. It's it's not really that good. That's pretty bad. And sometimes this even squeaks when it wiggles, so I'm not sure if I got a bad copy or if all copies are like this. Also, I noticed that this this kind of goes in when you press it. Uh, it's kind of loose down here. It's not that bad, but just something I thought. Oh, and here's the sound test for when it creaks. Yeah, it's kind of squeaking. It's really annoying. So I think I'm going to ask Amazon for a replacement. I should get one because it's only been like three days since I bought it. So I'm gonna do a CPS test using the keystrokes mod and I'm gonna do butterfly clicking. So, and the mouse parameters, the double click speed is fast and the debounce time is on four milliseconds. Okay, so for butterfly clicking, so it can double click obviously, Alright, I'm not very good at butterfly clicking. You could probably get up to 20 CPS, but I only get like 15 or 16. Sometimes I'm able to drag click, but usually not. I can get up to 20 or 25 CPS drag clicking. I know I'm not that good, but I saw someone on Reddit and they said they were able to get 40 CPS drag clicking. Which I think is pretty believable. And if you want a tutorial on how to install a keystrokes mod, just let me know in the comments down below because I know I had a really hard time. And I, it would be really helpful just to have a like full tutorial. So this is my second copy of the mouse. I ordered it in black again. Um I think, so, there's still the same issues with it. The buttons travel to the side a lot, however, they don't really squeak. I guess that's a plus, and these, 
the sides still cave in a bit. It must be just how all copies are, because if this quali if the con quality control is this bad, you shouldn't get a mount this mouse. If these aren't really um, a big deal for you, uh, then I guess it's okay. You can go ahead and get the mouse. Everything else is fine. But this the side to side play of the buttons is it can be quite annoying at sometimes. But it doesn't really you don't really notice it much unless you're looking for it. But when you squeeze them out, if you squeeze the mouse hard, you can easily notice that this goes in when you press it. Like and I'm not sure if I really want to sacrifice quality for light, a lighter weight, so I'm not sure if this is going to be my mouse, my main mouse for a while, or if I'm going to get a new mouse. So overall, I think this is a pretty good budget mouse. The glide is okay. It could be better, it's just okay. The cable, it's, it's a paracord, but I found that this, the bottom of the cable, like, this part, it kind of, I feel like the cable should be placed higher on the mouse, like, higher up, closer to the scroll wheel, because sometimes it drags across the mouse pad and it makes a really bad noise, and I do really like the scroll wheel sound, it sounds really nice. Um, yeah, but these quality control issues are the big downfall, it doesn't feel very solid, um, I think I'm going to order the Deluxe M800, and if you're interested in seeing that video, like an unboxing and maybe a comparison, uh, be sure to stay tuned, and if you made it this far, thanks for watching, please subscribe and hit the like button, I'll see you guys next time.